in this video, I'm gonna take you to San Diego County's northernmost beach town next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are back in Oceanside, California, and I'm gonna take you inside San Diego, California's northernmost beach town, and I have a local with me today, Mr. Tom, who you've seen in the part one video. Hello, everybody. So the goal of this video today, Tom, yeah. is to not show what we showed the first time. Okay. So we're gonna go a little more in depth with the pier. I wasn't able to come on here last time because I have my skateboard. Right, right, yeah. And we're gonna show a few more eateries and drinking spots to hang out at yeah. that we didn't check out the first video. So the pier here will go a little bit south. We made it over to South Oceanside. It's right off the border of Carlsbad and Oceanside. I exited Vista Way from the 5 freeway. I'll be honest with you, I've never been to South Oceanside. So I'm taking this strip of the PCH up towards the main part of Oceanside where the pier is, where we're gonna have lunch. But I wanted to check out a couple of places and it seems like there's a, quite a few uh, coffee roasters and cafes around this area. This right here is Revolution Coffee Roasters. They do have a couple of colorful shops around here. This place is called Boom Boom Brazil. Looks like it's a bikini shop. This right here is a park called Buccaneer Park. And there's a cafe over here, but a nice little creek right next to the train track. So you could probably see some Amtrak coasters coming down here. I've literally never been to this area. I can see the lifeguard tower just across the street, Tower 11. We're gonna walk over that way, but this is really cool to discover new parts of San Diego that I have never seen before. Over here at the Buccaneer Cafe, it looks like they have some breakfast acai bowls, some breakfast burritos, and a ton of smoothies and coffee. And if you're here for a morning walk, it looks really nice. Super pebbly beach. I didn't think that maybe there's sand during low tide around here. This area kind of reminds me of Marina Del Rey over in uh, LA area. The houses, the beach houses over here look really nice and it's in a quiet neighborhood. So that was a nice little quick trip towards South Oceanside. Now on to the main part down the pier. We're here off of Mission Avenue in Cleveland Street. There are a lot of new buildings around here. Places like The Lab, Harney Sushi, and where we're gonna have lunch is Craft Coast Tacos. I've been here once before, but have never covered it on Jaycation since it was so good. They have great craft beers and Mexican food. Figured we'd check it out. Passing by the street corner urban market right next to the railroad tracks and the Mission Pacific Hotel, where we're gonna check out a little later and I can see the pier in the distance. Parking here was pretty easy. They have two hour parking that you can back into, some side parking. Just make sure you're in and out within two hours or you move your car. They even have paid parking lots over here and then the transit center is just down the way where you can park as well. But in the neighborhoods, there is free parking. I'm gonna ask you a little bit more about the inland part of Oceanside because it's not just the coast. Oh yeah. It so, goes all the way inland. It ends at like a winery. Yeah. Called the Beach House Winery, I believe. Yeah, it goes out to South Morro Hills. That's where the winery's at. Oceanside's huge. A lot of people don't realize that we're the third largest city in San Diego. We've got San Diego 1, Chula Vista 2, and Oceanside's the third largest city. And the border from the north is Camp Pendleton. Right. So a lot of military come in and out and even live around this area. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of military guys too living on base. You wouldn't expect it. It's pretty cool. Some of their homes are like oceanfront homes. Being in the Marines on Camp Pendleton, uh, some of the officers live in a million dollar homes right now, right on the beach. So it's, it's pretty crazy. Carl's back to the south, and then you got basically the vista to the east in the Pacific Ocean. Almost to we're at, Bonzel, just, Bonzel? Away, yeah. And Bonzel, Bonzel's kind of a sleeper town, but that place is starting to grow too. The nice thing about Bonzel is everything's pretty spread out. Rule. What are we having here, man? Uh, a little Craft Coast Sunset Market, which is every Thursday uh, evening here in Ocean's Ah, oh, yeah. Sunset Market AZ IPA. So yeah. cheers. Cheers. A little strawberry pineapple taste to it. That's tasty, man. Pretty good. Nice on a nice day. All right, Jake Asianers, we're going to dig in to a Al Pastor taco, and it's got the pineapple on top with guacamole, cilantro, onion, 
And then I got the birria molita. Of course, you gotta have the lime. And we also have chipotle hot sauce, which is medium, but they have about four or five different hot sauce you can choose from. We're gonna dig into this. And I'm gonna have Tom talk about what he's got. I got a couple tacos here. I got the tasty pollo asada, a little guac on there, some onions and cilantro. And I had to match the pollo asada with the carne asada. Same thing, guacamole, onions, some little cilantro, and some lime. That was good. Oh, that's nice. A little hazy with a little strawberry pineapple at the end. It's a little fruity. Good pairing with this. So me and Tom were just saying last video, which you need to check out after this one's over with, we went to local tap house, LTH, which is down the street. We got a lot of positive feedback from that. And here at Craft Coast Tacos for this Chipotle hot sauce. Look at that beauty. That Al Pastor. Oh yeah. The sweetness of the pineapple, the chipotle flavor, and the juiciness of this al pastora. This is as north of Mexico you can get in San Diego County. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how far you are, still super good. We're gonna try out the birria molitas. A molita is basically two taco tortillas, like a sandwich. I don't think there's any cheese in this, the birria. And it looks like there's some sort of au jus on here. You got your cilantro. Look at that. The marinade on this birria is very tasty. You can see it dripping. Mm. They know how to do birria here as well. Man, you look like wow. you like that. I love it, man. Yeah. Cheers. This strawberry pineapple hazy cans here, I might have to bring some home. That was great. Craft Coast Tacos was yeah, amazing. That was really good. And it's very inexpensive. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Oceanside has a huge Samoan population. One of the greats, Charger greats, Junior Seau went to Oceanside High. Yeah. Rest in peace, Junior. Yeah. He lived here in uh, off the beach. He did, yeah. And you said there's an interesting fact over in US Samoa, there's a sister city of Oceanside? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So over in Samoa, Pago Pago is the name of the city. And it's uh, Oceanside's sister city. So a lot of the Samoan population, I believe, uh, came over here uh, joining the service, you know, with Camp Pendleton being right here in the military, the Marine Corps. When I played football here in high school, I went to El Camino and we had Oceanside, our, our crosstown high school there. We had a lot of Samoan football players and a lot of Samoan football players were really good football players and very, very strong. A lot of times either Oceanside or El Camino went to uh, the CIF championships and won. And a lot of that was because of football players such Very as Junior talented. Seau and yeah. uh, you know, uh, some of the other Samoan guys out there. Uh, Casey Malaulu was another guy who was a really good football player out here. So, got to say, definitely a good part of the population. A lot of the Samoans uh, here in America, uh, one of the two cities they ended up in was here in Oceanside. Wow, and shout out to Pago Pago yeah. and Padres pitcher Sean Manaya. He's Samoan. Oh, there you go. And his brother is actually in the military. Thank you for your service. And thanks to everybody else for your service over in Camp Pendleton. Definitely. I know you guys are watching. Hoorah. Semper Fi. One of the two new hotels in this area is Seabird. It looks brand spanking new. It's like we're over in the Hamptons or something with this uh, aesthetic over here. Look at this place. It's called the High Low right next to the Hi Pie. This is the Mission Pacific Hotel where the Top Gun house now lives. We're inside the Mission Pacific. Look at that. That's a 3D hologram. Guys, look at this view right here. Now that's a view, TC. This is the rooftop bar on the sixth floor. Yeah, this place is awesome. Great views, come out here. Summertime, you know, even, even if you're lucky enough to get a spot at sunset, Perfect view up here, it's beautiful. And there's the Top Gun house, right down there. So you want some views of the Pacific Ocean and the Oceanside Pier? Boom, yeah. look at that. Face west. Look at this little fountains with succulents around it. Comment down below, Jaycationers, you want to see me do the Mission Pacific Hotel as a hotel review? Let me know. Right on the corner you have Valle Guadalupe Valley Kitchen and 333 Pacific Steak and Seafood. A few tidbits about Oceanside. The population is about over 170,000 people. Yeah, there's a ton of people live here now and it just keeps growing, you know? So Oceanside isn't just this on the water by the beach. It's actually 42.6 miles in square footage. Yeah, that's a lot of city to cover. You know, Oceanside's home to the missions. And, yeah. Uh, mission San Luis Rey is the largest mission 
of all the missions. It's the king of the missions. And in 1769, Father Juan Crespi actually found San Luis Rey and that area, San Luis Rey Valley, definitely. And in 1888, they named this area Oceanside when they put a post office, which we showed in the first video. That's right. Yeah, and that's it became right. an official town. Yeah. And that's because people living in the rancho areas in the valley used to want to come here during the summer, the hot summer days, be by the ocean. Yeah, I want to say Oceanside basically was incorporated as a city in 1888. Yeah. So it's already celebrated 100 years of being a, being a city here. That is amazing. There's lots of different <laughs> generations here. We just had some fans walk by to appreciate JJ here. Definitely a melting pot of uh, all types of people living here in Oceanside. This is the Junior Seau Beach Community Center named after Oceanside Zone San Diego Charger legend, Tiana Junior Seau. May he rest in peace. This is an awesome homage to him and there are murals all around San Diego, not just in Oceanside, of Junior Seau. We miss you, Junior. You the man. We miss Seau's restaurant too. That was a great spot over in Mission Valley. At the very end of this pier, there used to be a Ruby's Diner, but there's apparently a seafood restaurant that's about to open here. It's not open yet, but my friend Tom, he's got a little fact about the end of the pier. Yeah, the end of the pier, when I asked my wife, Patricia, to marry me, I had to find a spot in Oceanside. I had three, and this one won it all. I took her out to the end of the pier and uh, asked her to marry me, and luckily she said yes. And luckily the ring didn't fly off the side of the pier. Shout out to Patty. Shout out to Patty. And we're not gonna go to the end of the pier because our parking is about to end. And, and it's a long walk, else. yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene where there was a cheer tournament in the movie Bring It On with Eliza Dushku and Kirsten Dunst that they filmed right here. We're walking right by the Seabird and they opened up about the same time as the other hotel. Yeah, Mission Pacific. Yeah, as the Mission Pacific. If you want to have a nice little weekend getaway, nice check out one of these two places, yeah. Definitely. If you guys haven't seen my how to get around San Diego video yet, check it out after this one. But this is the Oceanside Transit Center. You can hop the coaster, the breeze, the Amtrak, the Sprinter, and the Metrolink to Los Angeles from here. As you guys can see in the first part of my Oceanside video. I wasn't able to cover all the spots around Oceanside because it's so huge So if you have any suggestions really help out the community and comment below of places that you love in Oceanside Whether it's a restaurant a brewery a coffee spot or just some awesome Cool activities you can do around here, but right now we are gonna head around this area There's a Brixton a communal coffee and a Bagby brewery, which Tom said is really good. So we're gonna try it out Were you born in Oceanside? No, I wasn't. I was born in Camp Lejeune. Moved to Oceanside when I was three. So I was basically one of those Marine Corps guys, Marine Corps brats, I guess. Ooh, uh, Semper Fi. Semper Fi, dude. Look at this Oceanside gear right here at Brixton. TC, what did they used to call me over at the Chargers? What was my nickname with Celebrity? Bruno Mars. Uptown Funk You Up. This is the guy I'm looking for right here. We're in the next spot we're gonna try out. This is Bagby Beer Company. Tom says it's pretty good. Let's see if they're open. It looks kind of closed right now. Well, there's a fail, but Monday and Tuesday they are closed. Luckily, there's a bottle craft right across the way. <laughs> and this is the uh, PCH right here, the Coast Highway. Right across the street's the mortuary. So shoots the, uh, it's a sushi restaurant. It's, but it's more like, well, it's like kind of sushi to go and it's part of bottle craft. But there's a guy in town, he owns the Wrench and Rodent, but he's really experimental. It's really good. He's doing this on the side. So people are just looking for more of the standard sushi, which is really good. You can just hit shoots and grab a beer. We made it over to Bottle Craft, a little change up. Bottle Craft is all over San Diego County. I've seen it in North Park, Little Italy, Liberty Station. They have a ton of great beers here. I ended up getting a sour. This is a 5.9% Sour Gosa from McKellar Brewing. It's the Aloha Fridays and the Gosa River in Germany. Cheers, and then Tom will tell you about what he got. Just a recent gold medal award winner, a beer called Art is Hard, and it's a hazy beer as you can see. It is actually brewed by the North Park Beer Company here in San Diego. Cheers, Cheers. PC. Ooh, strawberry pineapple. You got the fruits in here. This is fantastic. So good. When me and Tom used to work at the Chargers, Tom's biggest saying was, so good. So good. so good. There's a really nice patio area here in the back of Bottlecraft, as well as communal coffee. And funny enough, a hat shop, Brixton, has a patio area too. With a bar set up. And then I see there's an elliptical place. There's like a gym over there. Verb Cycling Studio, 
where you can uh, work out. And that's like a cloud cover right there. You can't even see through it. So me and Tom are gonna have a final final here. I got the blonde from West Brew over in Vista. Nice little light beer, just a half pour. I got a Let Your Love Show, which is uh, from the Radiant Beer Company in Anaheim. I've never had a Radiant beer before, but I thought Let Your Love Show would be a good name. It's a 7.0 hazy, so I'm gonna give it a try here. Oh, that's pretty good. I like it. It's pretty smooth. I don't want to say it, it tastes creamy. It tastes a little piney. It's what you expect woody, out of hazy. a hazy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I went with the blonde. I like blondes this time of year. That's what she said. I say it a lot, but when it's summertime, I want my beer crisp. I like it. This is good stuff. Officially in San Diego, there are 170 plus registered breweries. So if you guys are wondering, it's not over 200 or 300. It's actually around 170. I've decided to get this Brixton hat. Oh, nice. Good time to get it. Support local business. I'm rocking my old school Navy camo with my 2016 Navy style All-Star game hat from the, as the All-Star game. And I got my Padres gear here on You, see the you can't see it, it though. So Go Padres. There's a lot more of Oceanside, so be ready for a part three down the road. Yeah. Definitely, we'll be back here in Oceanside and we'll show you a lot more of things to do around here. DC, man, good catching up with right you, brother. On. Cool. Hey, peace, everyone. Can't wait to see you again. If you didn't happen to catch my first Oceanside video a couple years ago, check it out right here. You may not notice me, I had that mustache. But we'll see you there, JKationers. Stay traveling, San Diego. Uh -huh.